Raise your hand if you hate that it's cold outside as much as I do. Just kidding, I can't see your hands. Put them down. Hello to the internet. My name's Craig Montgomery, and we're here to talk about the things that make you say, who even am I? So recently I've been thinking a lot about the fact that a lot of my vlogs are pretty advice-y. Um, and what that means and how I feel about it. To start off, I was a little kind of put off because I was like, who am I to be giving advice? Um, that feels like a really strange thing to consider the fact that I am like trying to give advice to people about life things. Um, and it's also like not really the intention that I started off with. I really wanted to talk about problems that I come across in my life and try and create a space where people can talk about those problems that they're coming across in their life. Um, and I was really hoping for that to be a thing. And as I progressed doing this, um, as I'm moving through it, I was looking back and I was feeling like I was being a little, uh, not preachy, but just like offering advice on these things. And a couple months ago, I went to a live talk that Cheryl Strayed, the author of Wild, did. And she spoke basically to this point, um, cause she does a podcast with another author where they talk about relationships and families and the problems that people write into them about and try and offer advice and kindness to these people that are really struggling. And she said that a question that she's asked very often is um, what made her decide that she was someone who could give advice to other people? And her opinion on the topic was that as a human, we're, we all have these shared experiences. So we all have basically the right to give advice to other people from the experience and the way that we've moved through these problems. Um, waiting to be an expert in any kind of thing is kind of going to be a waste of time because there's always going to be another echelon of achievement that you could get to. And also if we are only waiting for experts in these facets of life to give us advice, we're going to be very sparse on the information that we're getting. So she was basically saying that we shouldn't be too sparse with the, the advice and the opinions that we're willing to share of our own experiences. We should be very smart about the information that we accept when we ask advice, making sure that it's applicable and makes sense and smart for the problem that we're basically trying to solve, making sure that it works for us, so being a smart consumer of that information. And that kind of resonated with me and it, it made sense because I don't want the people in my life not to share things with me because they don't feel like they have any authority on the topic. I would like for them to sort of weigh in and I personally would like the onus to be able to say if that information works for me or not. And I just, I guess I wanted to sort of own up to that and say my thoughts on the topics because I have been talking about a lot of things and expressing my ideas and thoughts on life stuff. Which leads me to talking about the listening aspect, um, which I think is the advicey part of my video today. Um, I do think it's, it's important to be smart about the information that we're receiving. And I think it's something that's getting exceedingly harder to do as we move more into this digital age. There's so much information and the ease of accessing that information literally is exponentially growing. It's, it's mind boggling to think of how many different websites and articles and books that I could find on any topic I could possibly think of. There are so many people talking about most things. So being a smart consumer of that information is just getting so much harder. It's so much harder to validate who has quality information to provide me on this topic. Um, and the biggest issue is the, my instinct would be to follow my gut, which is going to inherently lead me to information that leans towards my, my biases. I'm going to resonate with information that affirms things that I already think, and that's going to not really help me grow and challenge me in areas where I might have false assumptions or behaviors or thoughts that are not serving me well. And I might be kind of averse to things that will challenge those assumptions 
when in fact that challenge is m trying to move me in the correct direction, which is something that's more true. And so that's where I think it gets really difficult in being a smart consumer and listening well to the information that we have access to. Um, it can be really difficult. And honestly, I don't have a good rule of thumb. I'm still trying to stumble through this and learn how to be better about the information that I am consuming. So I think speaking that and admitting to it is extremely important because it builds awareness and it keeps me in ownership of the fact that sometimes I might fall and not consume well. And it also gives me the opportunity to say, if you have good tools in your toolbox about how you can validate the information that you're consuming, I would love to hear what those those skill sets are because I want to build up a better repertoire of actions that I can take to validate that information. So please share, leave me a comment below. And yeah, those are my thoughts on advice and listening to said advice. If you like what I've been doing, please subscribe. Uh, I release videos every Tuesday and they'll come to you that way, which is really cool. And give the video a like if you like it. I hope that you are taking care of yourself. It's a really crazy world right now. And okay, bye. Okay, okay, okay.